So if we uh, can uh, take a moment of uh, silence. There is a silence which is not disturbed. By manifestation. A silence which is not apart. Is not separate. From the many expressions the silence that takes on the form of vibration and uh, is not disturbed by its movements. The stillness, which takes on the form of movement. And it's not disturbed by the way it uh, moves. But the uh, stillness and uh, the movement are not separate. where the movement is the expression of the stillness. It's creation, so to speak.
in the there is a, a transparency which takes on the form of the sensation. Takes on the form of mind. In your experience, in fact, there is no duality. In spite of a narrative about me and the world, this narrative is just that, a narrative. Like drawing a line in the sand and making a distinction between this side that side, while all along it is one shoreline, not two. Similarly, what you refer to as the inner world and the outer world is a line drawn in the sand or a line drawn in the in the sky dividing the inner from the outer while all along there is no separation there are not they are not two And when the mind is not dividing, when the mind is as it is right now, whichever way it is, we don't need to know. We refer to that as ordinary mind. Ordinary mind or no mind is a, a mind that is rooted in the understanding that divisions are purely conceptual. Here and there, right and left, top, down, better and worse, 
conceptual distinctions. Me and the world. Conceptual distinctions. And not real. When the mind is free from the impression that right is in an absolute sense separate from left, the top is in an absolute sense different from bottom. And there is freedom from the belief that there is an outside world and an inner self. Like this moment, the moment of simple being. It's an ordinary experience, our ordinary mind. which is uncontaminated by ignorance. Which is not a big deal. Just ordinary mind. walking into the store, standing in line at the cashier, sitting, watching the sunset. Calling cutting uh, tomatoes or cucumbers in the kitchen, washing the dishes. Hearing these words, ordinary mind, which is not looking or seeking for the better experience. Ordinary mind, when the dishes are dry, we put them away. When the meal is ready, we serve the meal. When it's Time to engage in a certain activity. We engage in the activity. Nothing special. So we the Zen tradition, there is a mondo where a student asks the master, please master, tell me what is the Buddha mind? Buddha mind means a mind of freedom. Sometimes we use the word enlightened or awakened, the awakened mind. The mind that has transcended the emotions of fear and negative emotions. 
the mind that is at peace. And the master's reply was, Buddha mind is ordinary mind. Buddha mind is ordinary mind. Some folks misunderstand what ordinary mind is. They believe ordinary mind is a mind that is free to do whatever it wants. The mind that believes whatever it wants and does whatever it wants. That's a misunderstanding about ordinary mind. Ordinary mind is a mind that's at peace. Nothing special. At peace, meaning at peace driving through traffic. At peace going for a walk. At peace, writing an email. At peace, taking care of the children. A mind that is not pursuing or seeking. Nothing special. You may say, well, what's in it for me? And you've separated yourself in that moment. separated yourself from ordinary mind. And uh, you've created and imagined a special me. Something separate. Ordinary mind responds to the situation. As the situation presents itself. But is not serving any personal good. Is not defending an image. Is not seeking recognition.
it's a mind which is not bound by time and space. But is fully engaged in presence. Like a, an open stage, clear stage. Or like a, a flowing stream. So ordinary mind is the sound of traffic. The ordinary mind is the heartbeat. The ordinary mind is a sensation. This moment is sensation. That has no name. Ordinary mind is a feeling of hunger when the body expresses it. Ordinary mind is a cosmos in the Milky Way. In the galactic field. Ordinary mind is a sensation of your eyes. The sound of this voice. The sensation of your feet on the ground. Ordinary mind is no going, no coming. And yet it's the sunrise and the sunset. And the sensation of the wind in your face. The sound of the airplane. The reflection of the light. in the room. That is Buddha mind. The sound of the lawn mower. the song of the bird on the neighboring branch. The sensation of an itch
근데 데미지 In the face of a beloved one. Nothing separate. No stories, no division. Ordinary mind is our love for truth. And our love for chocolate ice cream. The joy we feel when we are in the company of friends. The words we exchange with the neighbor when we meet. in front of the house. In Buddha mind, it's Buddha mind. So the teacher loves his student. Doesn't want to waste the student's time. Doesn't want to beat around the bush. When the student asks, Master, what is the highest teaching? What is Buddha mind? The master, without hesitation, directly points ordinary mind. What a, what a wonderful teaching. Boom, right, right to the right to the point directly. No dancing around. Very very kind teacher. We look so far for that which is closer than close. What we are looking for is that which is looking.
Okay, so any questions, anything that you would like to share or explore? Uh, let me see. You could unmute yourself and if you'd like, you could start your video. So any questions? Any questions? Hello, Fernando. Hi, Magdi. Uh, if Buddha mind is ordinary mind, why I don't feel like a Buddha? I am a Buddha. What does the Buddha feel like? can be ordinary mind but with with certain uh, conditions or awareness of your own mind you're aware yes you're aware that you are that's buddha mind when i am aware but sometimes sometimes i'm I'm lost in thoughts and in feelings. Why, why do you use the word lost? Thoughts appear to you, right? Yes. How can you be lost into something that appears to you? No, but uh, I mean, sometimes you are, your mind is wandering and you are not completely in control. Okay. What's what's the problem with the mind wandering? Let's say let's say that you're okay with the mind wandering. Let's say let's assume mm -hmm. that today, for for whatever reason, you're completely okay with the mind wandering. Completely okay. Completely. I don't mean ninety percent. I mean one hundred percent. You don't have any thoughts otherwise that the mind sh should whatever you have no you're completely un unconditional about the mind it's possible yeah, it's possible mm -hmm. so then at then what's the problem with the mind wandering? Just to clarify, mind wandering, maybe I'm misunderstanding you. Mind wandering for me means there is a thought and another thought and another thought and another thought and another thought and a perception and a thought and a thought and a thought. Okay. And so my question is, let's say that I don't have any conditions. I don't want anything to stop. I don't want anything to change. I have no, no issues with thoughts. Because in my experience, I have no issues with thoughts. I have issues with unhappiness. 
I have issues with misery. Misery. Mm -hmm. Issues. It's not about thoughts. It's unhappiness. Mm -hmm. And somehow, you know, since a young, young, young person, I, uh, I could never. I didn't like unhappiness. Uh, somehow, I can't explain it to you, but I never liked unhappiness. I was always unhappy about unhappiness. <laughs> I, yeah, it's like it's like something within me was saying. No, that's, 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 that's not the way, I, for me, it's not the way. So I, so that's more, that's been more my, uh, my interest. I've never really f found issue with thoughts. I found issues with unhappiness, meaning worry, concern, fear, and thinking about, oh my God, am I going to be able to accomplish what, what I need to accomplish to make my mom happy. I love my mom from a young boy. I had that uh, that deep thing about that. I've got to make my mom happy somehow. I've got to do something that's, and that it was, it was uh, worry about her and concerns. Uh, but some concerns, I didn't even know what they were. I, 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 it's like, it's like some kind of dark matter. I don't know what they were, but, but I, but they were not happy. Um, so when I, when the teacher said, Buddha mind is ordinary mind, he did not imply unhappy, unhappy mind. And isn't, isn't unhappiness um, related to being separate? Me and my future, my past, me and the world, me and my health, me and whatever, you know, the separate, you know, the this, this separate me, isn't that? Because like now we're talking and there is no separate me, it's just, just two friends, you know, happy to mm -hmm. talk to you. It's, it's ordinary, ordinary mind. But let's say, for example, I am in some image, an idea about myself, about you, or about whatever. It's, it's no longer ordinary mind, it's unhappiness. Mm -hmm. When the separation. In fact, here now, in this moment, there is no separation. But sometimes there is. So it's not so much thought, the movement of thought, it's, which is consciousness, moving that thought, appearing as thought. It's more the separation, the belief and the feeling. I am me, I'm this person, I hope you like me, I hope I'm saying the right things, I hope uh, I'm gonna live for another 50 years, blah, blah, whatever, you know, mm -hmm. whatever, whatever. It's, it's not logical, it's not, the, the separate self and the thoughts, the me thoughts, are not logical. They're not. They're, they're irrational. They're irrational. But still, they, they, they operate. They, ordinary mind is, um, just this. Just without Oh, well, 
he knows, I don't know, she this, he that, he's good, she's bad, without that, just, just this, this ordinary mind. Hello, hello, I, hello. Gee, I'm feeling tired, feeling, feeling tired today for another day, feeling tired, my back is hurting, ah, you know, it's ordinary mind. Uh, you know, it's really nice to see you. How are you doing? You know, how are you? How are you, are you enjoying your painting? How's it going with you know? How is? Are you asking me? Yeah, I'm like that's ordinary, Mike. You see? Yeah. Okay. Good, you know, yes. How are you? How is your life? How is your sweet wife? You know, how is how are things? Yeah, that's ordinary, Mike. Yes. You know, when we meet, we sit down, we have tea together. Or, or when you're, you're working, you're doing whatever, you, or, or, you're, or you're, reading, you're reading the words of the sages here. Yes, ordinary mind. When you're laughing at a joke or when you're feeling sad because you lost, you know, a dear friend. It's ordinary mind. In those moments, you feel that you are complete. You don't need uh, anything no, else. No, no. I, the sorrow is 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 an expression of the love. Like our conversation now is an expression of love. It's not a particular feeling, that's the main thing, that's the main point I think. It's not a particular feeling, it's a it's the absence of anything particular, because the particular is in opposition to something else, less particular. The special has in an opposition to it, which is our less special or more special. You see. But in the moment, in this moment, in this moment, darn it, all is well, all is well. Not like 75% well, all is 100% well. In this moment. I mean, when I say all is 100% well, does not mean that my backache is not there, you know? <laughs> Or, mm. or uh, uh, sorrow about the loss of a dear one is not there. Oh, doesn't whatever is there. It's not like all is well, meaning you know, there's a beautiful pink, you know, very beautiful pastel color situation. No, all is well is. It's just the directness of our experience when, when we're not separating ourselves. Like let's say I'm feeling really sick, I'm in my deathbed. All is well. Why? Why all is well in the, on the deathbed? Because there's, there's no desire to separate yourself from, from that. The desire to separate yourself from this experience is 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 uh, irrational. It's irrational because it's not possible, Fernando, to to change this. It's irrational. This is this is what it is. But you know, sometimes, although this is what it is, sometimes we want. We, we think it should be different. Oh no, I should live another five more years because I didn't uh, travel. I want, always wanted to travel to Tuscany and I did not travel to Tuscany. Uh, darn it, you know? You see, then you're right, then you're right. It's not, then I cannot say all is well. Then I cannot say, I, I, what I would say is, I hate it that I'm 
gonna about to die. You know, I, I need the doctors to do everything I can they can because I, I don't want to die. I want to go to Tuscany. But the body's dying. So it's a separation that's the unhappiness. It's it's something that steps out and says no, resists, you know, somehow, you know, it steps out from this and says no, yes to this, no to that. So in, in the, in the teacher said ordinary mind was referring to a mind that is not separating itself, which, which is an illusion because we cannot separate ourselves from, from anything. So I would say the non-ordinary mind <laughs> is a mind that is deluded by the illusion, the illusion that, that there is a separation. Although it is an illusion, we feel it, you know. It's like when we, you put on glasses that are purple, everything you perceive, the snow is purple, the sky is purple. But in fact, it's not purple. But when you put on those glasses, then you cannot speak of ordinary mind. You can only speak of the purple mind, purple. So the, the, the stream of thoughts, just a thought is a thought. We only experience one thought at a time. You can't experience two thoughts simultaneously because if you experience two thoughts simultaneously, there will be one, there will be one thought. We only experience one thought at a time. Thought is, It's cosmic, it's, it's not a personal, it's not personal. It's not like something you, you created, oh gee, I created the wrong thought, I need to change it. And I need, you know, it's, thought is like the weather, like, like the weather, like, like hearing these words, you know, like sound waves, you see the sound waves. Thought is, is a brain wave as a way of speaking, you know. It's just, it's a vibration. The whole universe, is a vibration of, of consciousness. Because consciousness vibrates, it's not like a dead, you know, it's not like mm -hmm. But there is no unhappiness in thought. thought. The unhappiness is when the me thought arises. Oh, me thought means I am Magdi, you are Fernando. I'm this person and you're that person with all the qualification, the qualities, the blah, blah, blah. So that there is, there is the, 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 sometimes I say the I thought or the me thought. On that, yes, you're right. 
You're right. When the me thought, then the judgment starts. Me and him and oh, him and her. I should have. We, we do a lot of uh, me thought against me thought. I shouldn't have. Why did I? As, as, as within thought, there is the good me and the bad me. The, the, judge, the judging uh, the judging character and the judged and the judged character in, with, within thought. So that's it. These thoughts, the, the me thoughts, are thoughts that follow, they follow, as soon as you put on the purple glasses, shh, me thoughts. You take off the, the purple glasses, the universe. Thoughts. Oh, it'd be nice to go to Tuscany. Ah, it'd be nice to see Fernando. I haven't seen him in a long time. Ah, mm -hmm. it'd be nice to, to, you know, go for a walk this evening. I put on those glasses. Shh. Me, me, me thought. I shouldn't have. He shouldn't have. Why did he? Why did they? The government, the uh, Dr. Fauci, the uh, Biden, the my neighbor, etc. So it's it's the it's not about the thoughts. It's about the, it's about the, the these purple glasses. Boom! The purple glasses. You say the purple glasses is the belief that I am uh, the body-mind. I am a man, I am the son, or I am the brother, or my mother, my teacher, my neighbor, my wife, where you go, what's gonna happen to me, my money, but, you know, the, the identification, the superimposition onto ordinary mind, a person, sort of, you know, like a, the mummy, like a body, you know. So then there is me, you know, there's me and, and not me. The identification. This is, these are the, the purple glasses, it's the identification. So then, then you're right. Then the thoughts are like worrying thoughts, judging thoughts, defending thoughts, uh, denying thoughts, uh, blah, blah, blah. Avoiding thoughts, uh, regretting, regretting thoughts and whatever. Fearful, fearful thoughts. Are you still in Virginia? Yes. Oh, okay. Tara, yeah. we, we are now in Southern California. Yeah, I know you yeah. sent us a message saying that you were in California. For us, it was a surprise because we, in those days, the pandemic started and we lost contact. And you know, then you moved. Uh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. You were, but weren't you? You were traveling for a while, no? Didn't didn't you? Well, well, yeah. Before the before the pandemic, we have been we were traveling a lot. Yeah, you yeah. were you were in Peru for quite a while. So it's, Peru it's, and well, Costa Rica. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Many places, Spain. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow, but the the the, the pandemic changed everything. Yes, really. yeah. And, and missing my yeah. our travel. Our yeah. well, yeah. I'm sure that missing our, you too, guys. Yeah, yeah, our missing our, our in person satsang. Yes, yeah, they were so good. Yes, this too, but it's not the same. I, I, I know it's not the same, but you know. Yeah, but yeah.
but I'm happy being in touch again. Yeah, me too. I uh, appreciate very much your your teaching and okay. what, yeah, what I have heard today has helped me a lot. Beautiful. Mighty. Please say hello to your dear wife and hopefully we'll, uh, we'll connect sometime. Uh, yeah, I yeah, hope so. Say hello to Tara too. Yes, okay. thank you, Fernando. Okay. Uh, Magdi, um, can I ask a question? Yes, hello, hello, Nathan. Yes, absolutely. Hi. Uh, yeah. um, you were saying about all thoughts uh, as universal cosmic events that yes. happen. Yes. But aren't the all these worrying, judging, defending, avoiding, regretting, and fearful thoughts? Are they not also cosmic? Happen in in a way there are somehow, but there is also almost like a, a freedom it, to be in a different sort of in a different way. And I'll give you an example. When I was driving to work today, the traffic was absolutely horrendous, um, and. Any way I wanted to go was stuck. And I know you, the usual from memory, from what I normally actually see reactions in me, that there is kind of a frustration and also worrying thoughts. I will be late, clients will be here waiting, I have to cancel the appointment. And today it was very different. Um, despite my kind of storylines of being upset about waiting in traffic, there was a completely different, um, something completely different. It was kind of like, like a piece in the background that um, it really didn't make waves in me. It, I could see that it was slow. I could see I'll be probably late, um, but there was kind of a, without trying to do anything, there was kind of a relaxation and a different vision about things. It's almost like it, it didn't affect me emotionally. It was, and the mind was felt free kind of thing. You know, he was still looking, but very peacefully to shortcuts, then deny the shortcut, looking for the next shortcut, deny the shortcut, but there was nothing that was a problem. And it was quite simple. It was a very simple and direct way. And this kind of feeling carried me throughout the entire day of work. Yes. When I arrived, it was not too bad. The client never mind, didn't even appear for the nine o'clock appointment. And that was fine. And I was not feeling pressurized in any way. Um, you know, it was hello to, to my client and feeling very happy to see them. And everything was flowing very smoothly. And if there was a little nagging thing, it didn't matter. It really didn't matter. So I felt, although, yes, it could be that from the point of view of the concept, perhaps the negative feelings and uh, of the me thoughts and me, me as uh, maybe yes, they, um, they may happen, they may be cosmic, but kind of I have an option. I can turn to something different. I can be on a different level somehow without actually um, denying anything because I could kind of faintly feel sometimes a little rise of a me sort of worrying or, or frustration, but it kind of calmed itself down because there was something much more precious there. There was something which more open and accepting and I didn't have to take the part of the usual reaction in a, in a weird way. So I just wanted to share this, um, this experience, uh, um, this kind of a piece of the background that it's really with me all the time. Uh, yeah. And it really is caring, is caring you in life. Mm -hmm. And I think it's in a, in a surprising or not surprising way, what you say is kind of corresponding exactly to what I, I feel or experience during the day. And I can very, uh, very much get into this idea of the ordinary mind, you know, because it's, it was nothing special, but yet yeah. it was beautiful. It was, 
um, it was wordless and it was very peaceful. Mm -hmm. So I want to really say thank you about about yeah. this because I think uh, our our talks and things have given me something very rich and that works in a way that I, the mind, don't even know how. It just kind of works yes. in its own way and carries me, in, in, kind of carries me. I'm, I'm not doing it. It just carries me in its own kind of way. Um, so I just wanted to share it with you and with my other friends. Yes, yes, that's a you know, very uh, lovely, Nathan. Um, you know, the more we, or our understanding, uh, as our understanding blooms, matures, grows about the uh, nature of things, the non-dual nature of things, the more flow in uh, ease there is in our life, in our body, in our mind, in the relationships, uh, the more, because there isn't a separation between the inner and the outer. As you, as this impression, the impression of separation is sort of, starts to fade away because of your understanding about non-duality, then you won't find that, that line that separates you from the world, you won't find that line anymore. And as you don't find that line anymore, you will just find that it's just an ocean, that the current, the current in the ocean is not causing a problem to, to any, any part of the ocean. Even a whirlpool within the ocean isn't causing any problem to the ocean. There's a whirlpool, a local whirlpool that is the ocean whirlpooling. <laughs> Because the whirlpool doesn't exist of its own, on its own. It's obviously the ocean that's whirlpooling. Same thing with the current. Current doesn't arise of its own. It's the ocean itself that's, that's currenting. That's, that's currenting. So the issues, all the issues that we used to have with the world, with my schedule, with others, with my partner, with my boss, with my clients, with my partners, somehow serendipitously, serendipitously and magically in a way that the mind cannot comprehend, but at a deeper level you understand it. All of that takes on a magical quality. It's mind boggling, mind blowing. And uh, there may be uh, some echo from the past, the past being the sense of separation. There might be some echo, oh, oh my goodness, am I gonna make it? But then you find that it doesn't maintain itself. It doesn't maintain itself. It's just because there is the, the old belief structure, the old storyline, the old model about me and the world, the good me, the bad me, the successful me, the failing me, all of that is no longer, it's lost its 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 bones. It's 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 lost its structure. There's still a little imprint here and there, but it's just in time it sort of becomes less and less. So it's beautiful because then we become we're open to the magic. We are the magic. I mean, the entire thing is magical. Just being here right now, perceiving awareness is magical. The sound hearing is magical. We, be, we become 
will become the magic, which we've always been. We, we are the magic. Now, see, there was something else I wanted to add that just escaped me right now. Right. It will reappear. Thank you, Magdi. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. So, so the entire realm of experience turn of experience, including our individual mind, our particular mind, is not separate from the totality, whatever the totality is, it's not separate from the whole. But our, our individual mind isn't a separate mind, because our individual, individual mind is how the, the totality, how the totality is perceiving this, is, is experiencing this, this experience, this local, local mind experience. And the awareness via which this local mind experience is the awareness which via which this this local mind experience is possible because it, it's not possible without awareness what would this experience this local mind experience be without awareness the, the awareness via which this local body mind experience is possible is not within the body, is not local. The, the body-mind experience is local, but the awareness via which the body-mind experience is, is perceived and known is not local. So this, this it's like the, the, the ocean, which is, non-local as a metaphor there are many currents within the ocean you could say that the currents within the ocean are local the, the type of current and the size of the current and the temperature of the current but the the ocean which is currenting this current is is not within the current it's it's non-local, is non-local. So yes, from, from the perspective, all events are universal, meaning all currents belong to the ocean, are, are, are the ocean. Whichever way they appear, whatever form they take. Is how the the ocean moves the consciousness in in movement it, movement is the movement of, 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 of consciousness is this particular mind and all minds all minds all not, not just the human minds Whatever minds there are, the mind, the mind of of an atom, the mind of of a snail, all minds belong to to consciousness, belong to the whole, belong to the universal. So 
so the the me as a separate me, separate me, is as a way of speaking it a a, a current within the ocean that within which there is the belief that it is separate from the ocean. So, so consciousness is via this particular body mind. Not only is it's experiencing this perception, the world and the body, that is also experiencing itself as not itself, which is what we refer to as ignorance. When you know yourself to be other than yourself, that's ignorance, meaning when you know yourself to be as anything in particular, that's ignorance. So we talk sometimes about not knowing, not knowing Arriving at not knowing is arriving at the edge of the precipice where you cannot take a step towards, yes, I know I am this, nor can you take a step towards, I know I am that. You are not knowing. So not knowing when you realize your true not knowing then the current is realizing that it's not separate from the ocean. Thank you very much, Magdi. Makes a lot of sense. Thank okay. you. And thank you for your lovely sharing. Thank you. Any questions? Hola, Emmanuel. Como estamos? Hola. Hola, Magdi. Do you hear me? Yeah. Todo bien. Tranquilo. Tranquilo. Drinking some good chocolates. Ah, oh, yummy. <laughs> yeah, I'm in a cafeteria in Nevada City right now. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Yeah, beautiful place. Oh, good, good. Okay, nice yeah. Oh, wonderful. Nice, nice to see you. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, so I, I will take advantage of this uh, spontaneous meeting. Okay. Nice, nice to see Fernando too. Hola, yeah. Fernando. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, all the guys. So it's been a while without attending satsang. Good to see you, Emmanuel. Sí, sí, sí. Igual, Fernando. Pero igual. Yeah. Un abrazo, un abrazo. Igualmente. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. I I, I just wanted to be. Uh, here, like sharing a little bit. And don't have like any particular question, but maybe I can find something around in my head. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. It's it's perfect to be question free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well I, I, I like if we can if we can share about um, what is the word? Um, like when you are sharing the same physical space with other people, like living together in the same in, in the same house or whatever. Yes. So like about having roommates or stuff. Yes. So right now when I am working and staying, I'm sharing the space with uh, these guys. And it's a, it's a big challenge for me because I prefer like solitude yes. and do things in my own freedom and you know so at the beginning i had a lot of resistance and and but now i'm i am trying just like to relax more and to flow more even if they don't do things the way i like to do you know like to, to let it go to, to let you know like okay 
I can be okay and I can be happy even if these things don't work the way I like, you know, like even if they if they don't wash the dishes, you know, like even if I have to go and wash some dishes because someone forgot it or something. Uh, can you share something about yeah about that about how to how to be at peace and and oh wait wait a minute is is it okay I just do that okay uh, um, I'm not hearing you. Though. Sharing this space with people that you don't know well. Did we lose you, Emmanuel? Can you hear me? Well, I don't know if Emmanuel is going to be able to come back online, but I will uh, address his question anyway. Because, uh, oh, okay, I hear you back, Emmanuel. Uh, uh, okay, sorry, it's just that my internet isn't working. Yes. Okay. Yeah, there is an unstable connection here. Right? Okay. Uh, well, let me let me uh, talk a little bit about your your question here about uh, you're living in, in in a sort of a communal situation while you prefer to be you're, you're more like a like to be more alone. Um, okay. First of all, Emmanuel, uh, as a truth lover it's important to understand and be open to this understanding that for a truth lover in particular, it applies beyond just the truth lovers, but just sticking with uh, our uh, uh, interest, which is interest in truth, there are no mistakes, there are no accidents. In other words, you are where you are and you are meant to be where you are. There is no other possibility than for you to be where you are. Uh, right now, here we are uh, in together talking. There is no other possibility for us than to be where we are. And it is meant for you and for me to be where we are. It is how consciousness, how cosmic, cosmic reality is dancing in this moment. It is basically telling you and I to be together in this conversation. And similarly, it is telling you to be in a, um, in a communal uh, living situation for now, given all the other uh, the other events that have led to that. So like a, in, the, in the ocean, a current doesn't suddenly appears. There is a gradual change in temperature in a certain area of the ocean, a certain part of the ocean. There are certain gradients, gradients of pressure or so throughout certain, certain because due to temperature, in the, and slowly, slowly, the current forms, and it, it takes on a certain, a certain size, a certain, a certain form. Similarly, in in your life, there are all sorts of events that contribute to you being where you are right now, experiencing what you are right now. But the key thing is, how do you approach? the situation that is given to you. You said, well, I'm with people and they have different, they, they don't act in ways that 
you know, I am used to, they don't have the same habits that I have, they don't wash the dishes, uh, maybe they, they don't always eat their own meal, sometimes they take something of yours and they use it, whatever. So how to be with that? So the way to be with the situation is to be in the way that is the smoothest, the, 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 the most harmonious way for you and for others. So rather than working on teaching those people better living habits and, and communal, communal living habits, which uh, would be uh, an uphill, uphill battle, you find a way that works. And the way you find a way that works is first by being interested. You're interested in finding a way that works. You're not interested in your point of view. You're not interested in how you want things. No, you're interested in finding a way in a completely new situation that is presented to you by God. It's not being presented to you by, by them or their mother or their grandmother. It's presented to you by the universe. The universe is presenting you with a situation and now this is a completely new situation. You didn't have a crystal ball. You didn't know who they were ahead of time, but now here you are. How to be with the situation in the most harmonious way, meaning in the smoothest way, in the way that is that more or less works, whichever way it works, whichever way it works. You have to wash some dishes. Okay, maybe, maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe I'll wash the freaking dishes. Yeah, I mean, let me see, how do I do it? Well, a form of yoga, you know, washing dishes, you know, move my arms, you know, cheeky. So you have to put the dish gently so it doesn't break. Oh, a wine glass, you have to wash it more carefully under the water. Mm, you feel the water and then you put it really nicely on this. Make sure, you know, wine glasses, they break really easily. So you have to put them, you know, really, you know, carefully. It's, so it's a, possibly, that's a possibility. What's a big deal? No big deal. What is my issue? I have no issue. What is my story? I have no story. No story. No story. So I don't know the particular situations, but the key thing is not to separate yourself, you know, as being a victim of a situation or you're a certain guy. Yeah, of course, there are some tendencies, you know, I'd like to be quiet too, I don't like big crowds, etc. Somehow here I am at this moment in this situation. Okay, so are the edges sharp? Are my sharp edges or, okay, if they're sharp, maybe I can round them a little bit. Oh, wait a minute, let's see if we can round those sharp edges. What's the big deal? They're just freaking edges. Hook an edge like this or an edge like that. It's the same thing, it's just an edge. So I say, okay, well, let's try this. Let's, mm -hmm. try, let's try this. So we try this, mm -hmm. see how it works. Without, without a story, without, oh, um, you know, I'm good, they're bad, I'm this, I'm that, you know, uh, you know, I'm spiritual, not, not, no stories. No, so it's just living, it's just living ordinary mind, just ordinary mind. I'm gonna send you this video so you can hear the talk about the ordinary mind, because I think you, should, you, should, you, came, up, you came later to the satsang, so you understand, you know, what I'm referred to by ordinary mind. So that you're just living, you are living, you're living and, and the living and your understanding are one. You're not separating, oh, I have an understanding and then now my life. No, you, you bring the understanding to your, to your life. So your life is, is, is an expression of the understanding for yourself. And with that, you're not trying to teach anybody, but just by, by living your understanding the best you can, it affects others. You don't know how, you don't need to know how. You don't need to know. Mm -hmm. So you have the answers within yourself because you are the explorer. And if you explore, you will find, oh, well, this is working better. Or you will explore, oh, this is, this is getting darker and darker. So you don't want to continue in the direction where it doesn't feel it doesn't feel good you see so you explore and the way that you find that that's more 
tranquilo, then that's the way. Yeah, it's like stretching yourself, like not being fixed to a particular yes. yeah. structure or something. Absolutely. So I've been like, okay, let's be more flexible and yes. I will stretch more and more and more and more and see that nothing really happens. To me. Yes, yes. So, yes. Yeah, sometimes you have to uh, put some limits very clearly, yes. you know. But most of the time, I see that I can, I can, what is the word in English? Uh, Accommodate? No. Yeah, I can, I can open more space. Oh, right. Yes. Yeah, like, I, I, I can let it pass, like, okay. Yes, okay. but, but you, you said something important right now, Manuel. You said also, you know, when you feel like you need to say no, mm -hmm. from, not from a, an emotional place, no, you, you, from understanding, you say, wait a minute, you know, they have their food, I have my food, they're eating my food. So from this place, say, okay, guys, okay, here, this is my food. You eat your food, I eat my food, okay? You know, so if you want to eat my food, then you pay me for it. You know, I work and I'm paying for it, that's fine. So yeah, yes, you, 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 you can set up... Mm -hmm. Uh, whatever limits, but you don't come from an emotional place. You're coming from a place of peace and clarity. This does not mean, peace and clarity does not mean uh, no strength. You can come from a place of strength, but inwardly you are tranquilo, okay? Outwardly you're saying, okay, no, that, that doesn't go. That's not gonna go. Mm -hmm. I, I also see that part of the, the sense of discomfort with others is that um, somehow very deeply there is a place where I feel others like a, uh, like a threat like a threat to, to, to me that I have like fear or, or... Yeah, yeah. sometimes uh, sometimes we we project that because we feel it we perceive it so it's there you know we, I perceive you as you know, maybe you're judging me. So I have that feeling there. It's, so it's in the space. In the space, we share the same space. See? So they're sensing, you know, it's not like they're separate from you. So you have to be, you have to be attentive to, to those internal, internal uh, beliefs you have about, about others that you're creating. Mm -hmm. You're, you're within your mind you're creating a certain scenario mm. and so this scenario because you've created may may act itself because you want it you're creating it mm -hmm. see yeah. it's different it's different when somebody comes to you with a knife you're going to punch him in the face or you're going to run but here if they're not coming to you with a knife and you're you have to think about others and uh, you know some feeling about others or some wariness uh, about others if there are reasons for it yes but if there are no reasons for it you have to watch it you're not yeah there are no reasons at all it's just like this sense of being separate from the other or something like that the bodies and, are separate yes yeah the bodies are but separate but I, I mean essentially and, and 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 i try to remind myself like okay we are one like Yes. This, this sense of me and the other person that I this is supposed to be next to me, we are one. But it doesn't feel genuine. It, it, I mean, there is the understanding, but not the, 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 the feeling that we are really one. There is no threat at all. Okay. Uh, this, this feeling that okay, it's not genuine, is most likely because of some past, something from the past. Maybe in the past there were, you had a partner who did something wrong to you or you had friends who did something wrong to you or other people you know, who, who, who abused you. So you're carrying the past with you because it's it's your protection mechanism you remember not to trust you follow so you are 
repeating and maintaining the past, which is what we all do. And so we remain separate, but your interest is not in remaining separate. Your interest is in truth. So therefore you have to realize that if I maintain, when I'm maintaining the past, I am, I am maintaining myself as separate self and I'm maintaining them as separate beings. You could do that. You could do that for the next hundred years, sure. Sure. First, it's not happy. Secondly, it's not real because reality is not in the past. Reality is awareness, consciousness. Me and you right now, there is no separation. It's not there is no separation because I love you and you love me. No, there is no separation because there is no separation. Because it's truth. Truth is non-dual. So what is your interest? Is your interest in maintaining and protecting Emmanuel who was wounded in the past, who was robbed in the past, who was hurt in the past? Is that your interest? Or is it your interest in truth? If your interest is in protecting Emmanuel, then that's where you stay. You stay with the, of course, there is, there is an aspect. If, if somebody comes with you at the night, with a knife, you're gonna protect Emmanuel. I'm talking about the psychological aspect. If you're interested in maintaining the sense of separation, maintaining your storyline, which was, it's just dead years ago. It's, it's, it was in the past and it's, you know, the past smells really bad, really bad. Poo poo, you know, you will maintain that, you know, why do you want to maintain that? You don't want to maintain that. So it, you have to have the courage, the courage, the strength, the, the trust, the, 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 the fortitude to, to walk the path of, of truth. You know, the Bodhidharma, he crossed the river, the, the river, the Yangtze River, standing on a, on a reed, on a blade of grass, cross the river, standing on a blade of grass. You know that painting, Bodhidharma crossing the river, standing on a blade of grass. This is not uh, just some crazy painter who is painting, you know, this is, this is a painting that represents something, a very, very important teaching. You cannot continue to repeat the past. You've got to live in, in, the, in your complete uh, dedication to truth. And in the, your dedication to truth, you are the truth. You are the truth. Not you are seeking the truth. You are, you're living, you are the living truth. And the living truth recognizes in each, it recognize, I recognize you as myself. I recognize, I don't care what, you know, what you think, what you feel about me, anything. I don't, doesn't matter. I recognize you as myself. I recognize you as myself within myself, as myself. I don't recognize you as myself uh, in some story. In, within myself, in my own cells, in my own being, in my own beingness, I know you as myself, as my very self, my, my total self, you see. Not like as my brother or more, as myself. You understand? So, so it, you may not share that. that I, it doesn't matter it, it, because I'm bringing it. I'm bringing it. So it's, that's sufficient. That's sufficient. The fact that you're bringing uh, the perfume of, of, of a rose into, into the space, whoever has a nose can smell it. Whoever doesn't have a nose cannot smell it. Or whoever is too far away cannot smell it. Doesn't matter. Yes. So yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, so, very, very, very yeah. clearing. Very yes. Yeah. Whatever we are protecting, we're protecting a ghost. We're protecting a ghost. Mm -hmm. This body is gonna die. Mm -hmm. You're protecting a body that's gonna die. I mean, you protect it if somebody's gonna, gonna come to you with a knife. Mm -hmm. But but the 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 me. Thing that we, you know, me, Magdi, me, Emmanuel, is it's gonna die. That's nothing. Just to remain with that which is real, which is true, which is not made out of flesh and bones. It's consciousness. Like you can't deny awareness. Yes? This is just boom, right there. Right there. You see? Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Very, very empowering. Like, you know, like, <laughs> it's like a shot in the veins. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> oh my god, this is amazing. I, I really I really needed this little space. Yeah. Okay, very lovely to see you, my friend. Yes? Yeah, yeah, thanks for the shot. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 <clears throat> okay, everybody, very lovely to be with you. Uh, Fernando, it's so lovely to see you. Please say hello to your dear wife, Emmanuel, Holger, Nathan, Lucas, Marga, hello Marga, George, hi George, and Richard. Thank you all. Thank you all. <laughs>